Hi, this is Josephine, and today I wanted to create my last Christmas card for the Cat Scrappiness block this year. Um, and I'm starting by using the Gina Marie Scallop Nested Circle Die to create the focal point of my card. And I'm using, as with my last card, the Christmas Tree Stencil and the Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Emerald Green. Um, and this time I thought, let's not do the entire card sparkly, just a little bit, <laughs> just in case there are people out there that don't like that much bling. Um, and then I'm adding the Whippersnapper Design Kiss Me Moo stamp um, that is colored with Copic markers. And again, I'm blending in the numbers, the Copic markers that I'm using on the top, as you can see. And I leave you alone with the coloring and uh, with some music. See you on the other side. If you have watched my last video, you might have wondered where the other two Merry Christmas uh, sentiments went to. And I already die cut them for the la in the last video for this video. <laughs> so, but I'm doing something very similar. Um, this time I'm using the Nouveau Embossing Powder in Shimmering Pearl. And that is a translucent embossing powder with glitter in it. And I love it. It's really pretty. And heat embossing that for the Merry and for the Christmas sentiment. And as you can see, I'm just dipping the die cut into Versamark ink and then sprinkling the embossing powder directly on top of it, mushing it a little bit around so that really every piece gets the nice shiny glitter on it. And then I'm heat embossing it on my cork mat so the die cut doesn't warp and it actually heats up without melting my craft mat underneath it. And now I can assemble my card and I'm taking the scalloped circle that has now the dried Nouveau embossing paste on it, my little goofy looking mousse, and then I'm finding a background paper from the Christmas delivery, delivery Echo Park paper set. <laughs> and because it is already very um, sparkly and everything, I decided to go with a rather um, settled background and I love the wood pattern in there. So I took that and then I die cut that with the uh, Cat Scrappiness embossed um, die. I have the supplies listed down below. I always forget what this die is called. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, but here it is. And I'm adhering that with liquid adhesive to the back. So I have a chance to move it around a little bit because you know me, I'm never good with adhering something straight. And then adding the little circle, the mousse and the sentiment on there. So, and the... Uh, 
circle is just adhered with the same liquid adhesive and for the mousse I started with liquid adhesive but then I kind of felt like he needs to pop up a little more so I'm moving him away again and add some foam tape, um, tiny pieces of foam tape on top of it so he stands out a little bit more because he is so cute he should, right? <laughs> So and after I have these itty tiny pieces um, on there and adhered the little mousse, then I'm using again regular liquid adhesive to adhere the scripty sentiment. And that's my card this time. Again, this is my last Christmas card for the Cat Scrappiness blog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the card. If you liked it, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. And then I see you with my next video. Bye!